Planet Dolan. From plants that make you vomit uncontrollably to an everyday flower that can kill you, we count nine of the deadliest plants on Earth. Yeah, yeah, what's up, YouTube fans? Spring of the one in the building. How we doing today? And today, guys, I got some crazy new content for your face. So here we go. Number nine. With nicknames like Devil's Berries and Deadly Nightshade, it was inevitable that the belladonna plant would make this list. Native to Europe and Africa, this plant and the delicious berries it produces are super poisonous. Ingesting any part of this plant will make a person delirious and cause wacky hallucinations. Its huge list of symptoms includes slurred speech, headaches, poor vision, breathing difficulties, and convulsions. Oh, and if you're a child, you can add instant death to that list. Without an antidote, anyone who eats this will eventually die as their body's involuntary reflexes shut down. Say goodbye to breathing and regulated heart rates. Although it's unbelievable, women in the Victorian era actually used nightshade in their beauty regimens. They applied droplets to their eyes so their pupils would dilate. This was considered a dreamy look. I guess back then, looking tripped out and near death was the height of sexiness. Number 8. The sight of a sunny daffodil means spring has officially arrived. Picking up a bouquet of these beautiful flowers seemed like a thoughtful gesture for that special someone. But it turns out that daffodils can be deadly. Their bulb and leaves contain toxic alkaloids, which cause dizziness, abdominal pain, convulsions, and even death if eaten. You might be thinking, well, okay, well, who'd be dumb enough to eat a daffodil? It actually happens a lot, especially with children and animals around. In fact, in the Netherlands during World War II, farmers unthinkingly poisoned their own cattle by feeding them daffodil bulbs. The moral? Daffodils are nice in a vase, not in your mouth. Number 7. The rosary pea is one versatile little plant. Not only is it nice to look at, but natives from Indonesia use it to make beats and percussion instruments. This musical plant is known as a climber, which basically means it grows on and around other trees, shrubs, and hedges. Unfortunately, the rosary pea also has a dark side. Its seeds secrete the poison abrin, which is a whopping 75 times stronger than similar plant-based poisons. It takes very little of this poison to kill a full-grown adult. Just three micrograms will do it. Even the production of rosary beads is dangerous, with people dying just from prickling their fingers on drill bits that had touched the seeds. If you're a budding botanist, maybe avoid this one. Number 6. The innocent looking herb is found all over North America, and it's best remembered as the plant that killed Abraham Lincoln's mother, Nancy. It's called white snake root, and basically looks like a cluster of white flowers. White snake root contains a highly toxic alcohol called tremotol. Obviously, ingesting tremotol will kill you. But that's not even how Nancy died. She merely drank the milk of a cow that had grazed on snake root. Fortunately, farmers are not aware of this danger, so they get rid of any white snake root growing in animal pastures. Watch out for the snake root. You might just die before you know it. Number five. If someone gets you a plant for a housewarming gift, make sure it's not an oleander shrub. This crazy common decorative plant can cause instant cardiac arrest if you touch it or put any part of it in your mouth. You can find this fragrant but deadly bush in parks, schools, and at backyard BBQs all over the world. And in a disturbing new trend, people in India have been consuming crushed oleander seeds to commit suicide. The funny thing about oleander is that its cardiac glycosides chemicals can actually be therapeutic if you take them in exact doses. But get that balance wrong and you'll be high-fiving the Grim Reaper. Number 4. The flowering machineal plant is easily one of the most poisonous trees in existence. In fact, its Spanish name literally means little apple of death. Found in the Bahamas, Caribbean, and various parts of North and South America, the manchineal produces tiny fruits that will bring slow and agonizing death to any person or animal that eats it. The tree also produces a clear sap whenever it rains. Touching this sap will cause a person's skin to instantly blister. You might think, okay, these trees are just too deadly to exist. Let's burn them all down. But nope, that won't work. Almost like a defense mechanism, a burning machineal releases deadly toxic fumes that cause blindness and lung problems to anyone nearby. The best you can do is to steer clear of them. As a precaution, locals mark machineal tree with big red X's. Number 3. If you paid attention in history class, you may remember that the famous Greek philosopher Socrates was executed using a poisonous plant called hemlock. Well, I now introduce to you hemlock's equally dangerous cousin, water hemlock. It's a wildflower in the carrot family and is sometimes mistaken for celery or parsnips. The main difference? Celery is good for your teeth, while water hemlock will instantly kill you. This is because water hemlock is full of deadly sicu toxins that cause agonizing cramps and seizures to anyone who eats it. Most people who eat or touch it die. Even the survivors don't get off scot-free. 
They suffer horrible memory loss and tremors that can persist for the rest of their lives. Number 2. Growing up, did your parents force feed you spoonfuls of disgusting castor oil and tell you it's good for you? If so, it's probably because they hate you and want to see you dead. I'm kidding. Sort of. But it turns out that while this oil itself is harmless, the plant it comes from is one of the most poisonous in the world. You see, castor plants are loaded with deadly toxins called ricin. The plant seeds are the most concentrated source, and ingesting even a single one will kill a person in 48 hours. If you think it'll be a peaceful way to go, you're dead wrong. Victims experience a burning sensation in their throat, followed by bouts of painful vomiting and bloody diarrhea. Eventually, they'll drop dead out of dehydration. Sounds fun, right? Castor plants are native to India and Eastern Africa, so keep your wits about it if you go to these places. They currently hold the Guinness World Record for most poisonous plant. Number 1. With a name like Jimson Weed, you might think this plant sounds pretty damn harmless, but with nicknames like Angel's Trumpet and Devil's Weed, it's clear this plant is more dangerous than it seems. This trumpet-shaped flower originated in South America, but can now be pretty much found anywhere. It comes in a range of sizes and colors, from deadly orange to deadly pink, and it's covered in those gross fine hairs. Every single part of this plant contains the toxins tropane, alkaloids, scopolamine, and atropine. So just don't touch it. Don't even breathe near it. Of course, many stupid people like making tea from this plant and ingesting it like a hallucinogenic drug. Some get away with it because the toxicity levels can vary from plant to plant. But it's basically like playing Russian roulette. While chasing this natural high, many people have slipped into permanent comas or overdose. It's why South Africans call the seed of this plant mad seeds. I got a new question for you guys. What's the weirdest thing you've ever caught your partner doing? Let us know on the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Take care everybody. Much love and appreciation. Peace. Yes, this is what it looks like. Two parents, four kids, and a family dog riding a single motorcycle. Because there's absolutely nothing wrong with unnecessarily risking the lives of your dearest friends and family. Oh wait, yeah, there definitely is. And with that many people, who needs helmets?